Hi there, I'm Rex King, and today I'm doing something a little bit different than my usual movie review, due to the fact that, well, my local theater didn't have any new releases this week, and I still wanted to put out new content. So I decided it was about time I do my first top 10. Now I did have trouble picking a topic. I think it's a little too early on in my content creation career to do a top 10 movie list. But I did want to give you guys a good idea of my taste as a movie goer, so I decided to do my top 10 actors dash actresses. Now, the way I'm going to do these lists, and yes I said lists, plural, uh, is a little different. You see, I'm going to do uh, my top 5 actresses followed by my top 5 actors. I'm doing this so I can um, maximize diversity. Without further ado, let's dive into the lists, starting with the woman. Number five, Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett is one of the most notorious character actors of all times. She slips into any character like a glove. She's able to turn any role and make it her own. She's been in many different genres, including uh, action adventures, comedies, and art films. Uh, notable films for her include Manifesto, Elizabeth, and Hannah. I definitely recommend checking out these three films if you want a good idea of who Kate Blanchett is as an actress. I really think that she fits into any character really well, and that's probably why she's underappreciated as far as an actress goes, because you see the character as opposed to the actual actress, and I think that's quite stunning. Number four. Dame Helen Mirren. Dame Helen Mirren is one of Britain's greatest talents. She has been in the film industry for years. And she's been in every genre of film imaginable. Science fiction, action, comedy, drama. She's been in it all. I really enjoy seeing the films that she's in. Because she manages to elevate any script she gets, even if the script is less than ideal. Number three, Maya Rudolph. Speaking of actresses that are not in uh, ideal films, Maya Rudolph doesn't have the best filmography. Not by a long shot, but a good filmography doesn't necessarily mean a great actress. What makes Maya Rudolph really great, in my opinion, is even when she's in absolute garbage, I find her entertaining and I can't help but smile at the roles she gets. I have a lot of fun seeing her on screen. Notable films include The Mitchells vs. The Machines, Away We Go, and The Way Way Back. Number two, Judy Dench. Yeah, this is a surprise to absolutely no one. Dame Judi Dench is an icon, and for good reason. She has wowed both British audiences and American audiences. She's been in comedies, dramas. Most people will remember her as her role as M in the James Bond series, but she has had a quite eclectic run of different films. Notable films include The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, Iris, and notes on a scandal. Number one, Emma Stone. I can already hear the questions. Yes, Emma Stone doesn't have the length of a, the filmography of Dame Judi Dench or Dame Helen Mirren or Kate Blanchett or Maya Rudolph. She has a much shorter filmography. But that's fine. Because what films she has been in, she has stunned. I love her in for every film I've seen her in. She blows my mind whenever she performs, and I really love following her career. Notable films include, obviously, La La Land, Zombieland, and um, The Favorite. I really think she's underappreciated, and I really enjoy her performances. Let's move on to the men, shall we? Number five, John C. Riley. Most of you are going to know John C. Riley as that guy who plays across Will Ferrell from time to time. And you are right, but he's also an accomplished dramatic actor. I am blown away by his dramatic performances whenever I see them, and I really do enjoy his comedies as well. 
I feel like he plays the lovable loser character perfectly. Now, that's not to say he doesn't play other roles really well as well. He does blow out of the water in most films he's in. I really recommend films like Magnolia, um, Talladega Nights, and Chicago to see his um, performances in those films. Because I think those films show off his performance brilliantly. Number four, Albert Finney. One of two actors on this list who are sadly not with us anymore. And Albert Finney, though his filmography is not going to have as many well-known films on it, it is still pretty impressive. And his performances in those respective films is what make those films good. I really enjoy what Albert Finney accomplished in his career. And it's nice to see an actor who has been in a lot of unique films do really well in those unique films. I'm talking about like Picasso Summer, Charlie Bubbles, uh, and Tom Jones. Those films are Albert Finney at his absolute best. Those comedies, those art films, they're, they're absolutely what made Albert Finney great. Number three, Alan Arkin. I talked about Alan Arkin a couple times on my Monday Night Movie uh, show. And there's good reason for that, because Alan Arkin has an amazing filmography. Uh, he is probably one of the most eclectic actors to go completely unnoticed, for the most part. And I feel like that's a shame. I really enjoy him in his um, dramas, comedies. Uh, he's even been in a couple action movies. He's been in from everything from art house to action comedies. He deserves the recognition. Notable films include Catch-22, 13 Conversations About One Thing, and Argo. But there are plenty of other films I could have named on this list, and I do advise checking them out. Number two, Vincent Price. I know, a complete and utter shock, right? The guy I'm donating an entire day during the Halloween special of my, my Monday Night Show? is on this list. I mean, I'm going to be reviewing a film from him annually, and he's on this list. I know, complete shocker. Now, obviously Vincent Price has been, was, had entertained people for generations, and he blows, it blows my mind to see him in those films. And I really, it's hard to describe if you don't know Vincent Price, but Vincent Price elevated even the worst of scripts. And he was always entertaining, even if the film was less than so. And it is unfortunate that he is no longer with us. If you're looking for notable films for Vincent Price, we're talking about like The Great Mouse Detective, House of Wax, Last Man on Earth. I mean, come back to my Monday night... A horror show every year and you'll notice that I'll be doing a um, yearly episode on him so you'll see a bunch of films from him on that show without further ado the number one actor is Steve Carell I'm not joking Steve Carell is another actor who's known for one particular thing but has such an eclectic filmography I can't help but wonder why is he only known for that one thing? His comedies are good, and he deserves to be known for them. But his dramatic performances in recent years have blown my mind. I really have enjoyed him in Welcome to Marwin, um, The Fox Catcher, The Big Short is actually why he's on this list. His role in that absolutely blew my mind and actually almost broke me at one point. I really enjoy this, um, see, I really enjoy Steve Carell's films, and I, I, I look forward to them every year, even when they're garbage, because I know he's going to blow my mind with whatever he's doing. Anyway, that's my list. If you agree with them, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with them, definitely let me know in the comments below. I really want to hear what you guys think on this one. And, I'll see you next time.